Hey guys, welcome to my No Frills to the Point Sea of Thieves Weekly Bounty Guide. This guide will cover all bounties ranging between June 30th and the 5th of July. The June 30th bounty is to make a friend using the appropriate emote for a doubloon bonus. For this bounty, you'll want to find another pirate in the session, open your emote wheel, and simultaneously use the make friend emote with the other pirate. This will open a new friend request, and once you've accepted it, the bounty will be complete. This bounty will work with any pirate that is not in your friends list, including members of your own crew. Alternatively, you can join an open crew or simply ask a random pirate passing by. The bounty for July 1st is to earn gold by getting food poisoning. The easiest way to accomplish this is to simply grab some fish bait from barrels at the outpost you spawn in at and eat until you throw up. Consuming one piece of bait should do the trick, but forcing down two will speed the process up. Alternatively, you can consume raw or uncooked meat, including fish, chicken, or pork. Once you've decorated your surroundings with a shade of green, the bounty will be complete. The bounty for July 2nd is to pirate chat with someone from another crew on the Ferry of the Damned. You'll either need to kill a pirate in the session or wait on the ferry until someone shows up. Once they do, open your pirate chat wheel and spark a tantalizing conversation. When they respond with a pirate message themselves, the bounty will be complete. One way to verify that there are other players in the session is to check the emissary tables at the trading companies when you spawn in. The more wooden boats you count, the more confirmed ships you have in your session. The bounty for July 3rd is to defeat an Ashen Guardian for a gold reward. Ashen Guardians can be found in four different locations. They can be found roaming random shorelines of islands around the seas, spawning near players while on voyages, at active skeleton forts, and finally, as a part of various time-limited mercenary voyages. I don't have any mercenary voyages stashed, so I decided to go for the only other method that guarantees an Ashen Guardian, which is clearing an active skeleton fort. To find an active fort, I server hopped until I found the Skull Cloud Indicator and sailed over. Once you've made it to the fort, continue to clear waves until you make it to the second boss wave. This is when the Ashen Guardian will spawn in. Once he's fallen to you or your crew's hand in combat, the bounty will be complete. The bounty for the 4th of July is to finish the Seabound Soul or Heart of Fire Tall Tales for big doubloons. If you're willing to choose between either Tall Tale, I recommend completing the Heart of Fire as you will only need to visit two islands after starting, and depending on your experience, it should be faster. If following the storyline is more important to you, start with the Seabound Soul. A full Tall Tale guide is well beyond the scope of this video, however, I will post a link in the description to Rare Thief's thorough Tall Tale guides. If you've decided to partake in the Seabound Soul, head over to Sir Arthur Pendragon at Shipwreck Bay. Or, if you've decided on the Heart of Fire, head to Morrow's Peak Outpost in the Devil's Roar, look for the Heart of Fire Tall Tale book next to the barkeep in the tavern. After you've completed either one of these Tall Tales, your bounty will be complete. The bounty for July 5th is to hand in an Ashen Chest for a gold bonus. Ashen Chests can be found in the following ways throughout Sea of Thieves. A reward of an Ashen Guardian's note quest dropped by Ashen Guardians. A chance to appear on any skeleton ship. Three Ashen Chests are always carried by the final skeleton captain ship of a skeleton fleet encounter. There's a chance to drop from a Megalodon or a Kraken. Guaranteed reward for completing an Ashen Skeleton Fort. Guaranteed reward for an Ashen Chest Stash Voyage bought from the Black Market for 50 doubloons or 65,000 gold coins. For the guarantee, I would recommend server hopping or sailing until you see either a Skeleton Fleet or Fort Cloud Spawn. However you decide to grab your Ashen Chest, remember to turn it into Duke locked or unlocked at any outpost to complete the bounty and earn your extra doubloons. And that's it for this week's daily bounty guide. As always, thanks to Rare Thief for the amazing information they put out to the community, and thanks to all of you guys watching. Catch us next week here on YouTube or Sailing the Seas Live on Twitch.